No. No. <laughs> right away, welcome to Ozark, ladies and gentlemen. All right, guys, we're back. I'm Roger. I'm your street-level critic, and we're back to react to another episode of Ozark Season 2, and we're doing today Episode 3. Now, first things first, did you guys like the game that we played last week, trying to figure out the symbols? Because I had a blast playing it. I'm going to try it again. Let's keep on going, but this time I'm going to change. I'm going to put it, like, around here above my head somewhere so we can kind of make it s simpler and bigger, maybe, so all of us can see. Uh, last week's episode was good. We learned a lot about what the lake house is. What they're doing with the politicians to get the casino built. We learn more about Ruth's sick father. And what he's all about and what his plan is to pretty much use Ruth to get the money from Marty. You know, no matter what she has to do. She wanted a nice house. He shut that down. He doesn't care about that. He's like, that's what we are. So, unfortunately, now we got him to deal with. Uh, what else? The daughter, she's doing something. I want to know. I'm very curious to find out. And... Yeah, the car accident at the end of the episode to see what the result of that is with the FBI agent, you know, pretty much framing her to go undercover for him. I'm excited. Are you guys subscribed to the channel? Let's get to it. One, two, click. Is this going to be a reoccurring character? Okay, okay, we're leaving. This is public property and the press is entitled to access. Oh! No. 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 Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> right away, welcome to Ozark, ladies and gentlemen. Holy moly. Here's a symbol. It's a boat on fire, a pill, a deer, and a fork with some kind of foliage. I don't know. Blake had a history of depression and hospitalizations, okay? No one knew. It's a sad fact, but sometimes depressed people kill themselves. You and your husband need this casino. I can deliver it or I can kill it. Hmm. He has that power over them. That's what you get when you get into bed with these people. That's a nice casino resort, though. How soon can you start? Oh, I'm not interested. Manual labor, weather stripping cabins, roofing work. You ever done anything like that? Ruth said that you were looking for a job. No. I need a paycheck. An employer. As per conditions of my parole. Oh Fishing. boy. Mm. After all my daughter done for you. I'm not sure I follow. Patricide was my crime. I learned Patricide. that word in the library. But what the fuck is the word for a girl killing her uncles? Mm. Jorge Mendoza and a few others entering the cathedral. Hey, that's the guy that was standing by the wall. Body, but this was definitely Dell's memorial service. Well, how did you explain killing his brothers? I told him the truth. I thought Russ was a fucking rat. What are you talking about? Oh yeah, he doesn't know about the, the FBI guy. That shit didn't get there by Or at least not you that he was dating. In Russ's trailer? You didn't think that you should mention that to me, Ruth? Whoever he was working with, unless you killed them too, is probably still around. <laughs> unless you killed him too. They hit the funeral home too? What, what did they say? Unusually high levels of dioxin and mercury in the surrounding soil? I mean, it's just... It's not a coincidence. Somebody is targeting us. Wilkes? He finally made his ask. I wasn't very receptive. What was his ask? Maybe it was him. He wants to build a hotel and a shopping mall next to the casino. I got a business proposition. Hmm. I heard you had money trouble and I want to invest in your business. Place ain't for sale, Ruthie. We're not buying. We're just injecting some capital in something we know can improve. You left the message for us. Well, you, you didn't need to respond in person. Hi. <laughs> Sounded important. Wouldn't have anything to do with the man who showed up in our property looking to turn our land into a theme park, would it? Oh. You know what today is? First day of hunting season. Jonah, go inside. You join us in the woods and we can talk privately. You hunt, son? No. No, he doesn't. I'd like to. Go oh, ahead. boy. Honey, you're not going. Anybody want to buy tag along? Wilkes is definitely sending us a message. Yeah. Well, maybe you need to send the one back. Anyone who's your enemy. 
is now Alan. True. And vice versa, or no? That, but I, I don't need you to do anything. I, I got this. You got 24 hours. If you can't persuade him, we will. <laughs> Poor Marty. He's always under pressure. Always. You can never have one relaxing day. They're hunting. Are we going to see a dead deer here or a deer? Because that'll be... That could be it, guys. Okay. That could be the deer in the circle. Can't confirm it, but... No. Let the boy take. Oh, my. You don't have to do this. Okay? Don't feel any pressure. <laughs> sure. I couldn't do it, guys. I'm not a... Okay. Well, there it is. Confirm. <laughs> There's the deer. Wow. Dead deer. If I'd done it, would you have thought of me as a murderer? No, no. Self-defense, you. son. For your unbelievable bravery. Unbelievable bravery. Did you know that Tim Blake's widow is filing a wrongful death suit against Charles Wilkes? That's crazy. She's going to announce it at his funeral. But he was clinically depressed. How do you know How do you know that? Tim killed himself because he wanted the pain to stop. He just wanted it to end. <laughs> that is so me. Wow. That's why he killed himself. We're prepared to start with a million dollars. You're trying to buy me. Yes, I am. <laughs> yes. Straight up. Thank you for your time. <laughs> like I said last episode, man, she's cold, man. She's cold. But she's doing it for her family, right? So at the end of the day, I don't know. This is the terms of compliance letter. Just tell them you don't understand any of the particulars. Here, these will help. Ah. What if Pills. Bing. This whole charade. Is From the symbol. Calling you, which he did. The hotel, pale boat. Oh wow! He's just gonna burn his boat just like Man, that. Well, you heard that saying, right? The couple that burn boats together stay together, right? <laughs> Fine state of Missouri. Oh, wow. A guy like Wilkes doesn't have cameras. Because it is easy to get away in a boat. There's not a lot of proof on a lake or a big river. Oh, my. All right, guys. That was quick from the pills. We got the deer. We got the pills. And now we got the boat. So now all we're waiting on is that fork with whatever that was on it. So now I got to keep out, keep an eye out for food. I was thinking maybe it was at the wake. But we'll see. Whoa. What is she going to do here? I don't know anything about boats, so I have no idea what's going on. I know she's making waves, trying to ruin something. I got $50,000 worth of damage here on my dock. I have about the slightest idea what you're talking about. I was actually going to call you to follow up on our conversation from a few days ago. One option is to declare bankruptcy, of course. And the other is to take what I offered you two days ago. You're worse than your dad. <laughs> I won't get you your breakwater. Guys, what's a breakwater? Please, let me know. Comment down below, let me know, because I don't know what that is. We are starting the Tim Blake Foundation for the Mentally Ill. You wouldn't know anything about my boat being blown up, would you? About as much as you know about my businesses being shut down. Hey, for the record, I didn't close down your businesses. Someone's got you in their crosshairs. We can't have you uh, around the offices for a little while, okay? Aw, oh, man. Are you fucking firing me? No, I'm not. The, the Gaming Commission is launching uh, an investigation. We can't have a convicted felon on any paperwork. I just hate myself so much. Did I miss something here? Is she addicted to the pills? 
Well, guys, there's a bunch of forks with food in them, so I'm gonna call it. There's the fork. <laughs> That's it. We're done for the episode. You want the keys or not? <laughs> Ah, uh, Ruth, man. If our Marty would just stop and listen to her, or they just communicate better. Okay. Done. All right, guys. Another really good episode of Ozark. Now that it's, we're well, we don't know for sure. We know that somebody is trying to. No. All right, guys. Another solid episode. Really good. We don't know who is attacking Marty and all the businesses, but somebody is. It could be the government pressuring now that they know because we got into their offices and we know now that they're not only targeting him, but they have the whole web of criminals and criminology going on and they're all under attack. So I don't know if it's him. I thought it was Mr. Lakehouse himself, but I guess not. Or it could still be him. He could be lying. But yeah, we learned a lot. The wife, she is conniving. That's the thing I was I started saying during the episode or thinking was yes, she is cold, but at the same time she's doing it for her family, trying to survive. Now she's trying to survive. Because if they don't handle this and deal with the money, then they'll die. They'll get killed, their children get hurt, whatever. So now it's in survival mode. So she'll do whatever she's going to do to handle the family and make make things happen. But it's just surprising, like, wow, she is really good. Either she's really good or she's really cool. Anyways, it was really good seeing her do her thing. Ruth, as I've said, she's my favorite character. And we can see, man, she has a lot going on. She went and she figured out how to, even though she also went and did it dirty, she got that business for them, and now they have it, or they had it, or whatever, and she now has her dad working there. But, you know, she, I wish Marty would just listen to her. They would just stop for a minute and talk. You know, he doesn't want to hear from her too much because he, he thinks he knows it all. And he knows a lot, but she knows a lot too. And they, if they were working together in conjunction, they could do a lot more. What else? We have we have Rachel. She's back in, she's back from jail or prison, wherever she was. And I don't know what the plan was for that wire that she had. Can somebody explain to me what that paper was that, that she was given, giving Marty and the paperwork that the FBI agent gave her? What was what was the deal with that? I'm, I'm a little, little bit confused. But, really exciting. The hunting was interesting. Love the snails. They're fascinating from start to finish. Her telling him that she wants a baby and he's like, uh. <laughs> really funny stuff. Did you guys catch on to all the symbols? They were pretty easy, if I had to say, from 1 to 10 this episode, they weren't that difficult. Sometimes they are. They're, you got to challenge yourself to kind of catch them if you're not paying attention. So yeah, guys, solid episode all around. I'm very excited for episode 4. What about you? Comment down below. Let me know. Catch you guys on the next one. Hasta la próxima. Peace.